Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the war in heaven. Brothers and sisters, is there more to understand than we can imagine? Is there a fantastic timeline that is fitting with everything what we are teaching here at Triple Grace? Is there an understanding of two mountains and how everything will come to pass? I believe there is. And I'm introducing you today to my understanding of how the war in heaven will unfold. And that the war in heaven is not in the third heaven, but that this war in heaven will be fought right over our heads. Brothers and sisters, let us begin. How will it all come to this war? We see, we know and understand from Second Esther chapter 13, where I will read it to you a little bit later, that a war against Mount Zion will take place. But we also read in Revelation chapter 12 about the war in heaven. We know that is all related to the time of the Antichrist and how he will become the ruler over the nations. But we also understand and have seen so many people coming forth with dreams and visions and understanding and revelations about something called Dibiru and Planet X. So if I study this further and further, I came to the conclusion that most likely we have to look at two mountains here. Two mountains that are standing in opposition as we know it's time of duality. When we go further back in time, we also should find a pattern to something like this in the past, because we know that circular time will connect the past, the present and the future together. So we should see that there is some kind of recording, some kind of statements from the past that there was a war in heaven before. Is there? Oh yes, there is. If you look at the Indian mythology and the book of Mahabharata, yes, such books belong to the enemy, yes, but they also are there as a reference of what has happened in the past. As the book of Enoch is also not part of the Bible, but it is a reference of what happened in the past. So in the book of Mahabharata you will find that the people on earth saw that a great city was standing in, in the heavens over the earth. And this people from that great city was coming and interfering with human uh, humankind, with mankind. Not always for the best. And then suddenly a second city appeared in the heavens. And when that had taken place, then there was a huge war in the heavens, just above the earth. And the first city was taken down and fall down to the earth. Is this, does that not very, sound very familiar? Does that not sound very, very familiar to you? A war in heaven and at the end of the war something is coming down onto the earth? Let's have a look. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 9. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back and he was not strong enough and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. 
he was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Is that not the same picture that I just told you about a mythology book over thousand and thousand years ago? What happened before? A pattern to the war in heaven in our time? Absolutely. Absolutely. So when we understand that at this time were two great cities standing in the, in the sky, in the heavens over the earth, then we also should understand that most likely we are looking now at two mountains. Why do I talk about a mountain and not a city? Because it is mentioned in Second Esther chapter 13 that it is about a mountain and it is also in Daniel. The stone that was thrown will grow to a mountain. We know it is Mount Zion where the paradise will come with. That's the side of the kingdom, the good side of the duality. So what is then the bad side? If the bad side of the duality is Satan and his minions, then they not only have to come also with their own mountain, but they have to appear first. to fit the pattern and to have the correct understanding. Everyone is talking about planet X and Nibiru. Is that the dark planet of the enemy? Is that the dark mountain that is coming of the enemy, that is coming first? But how will it come in if we know that the world will, will fight the second mountain, Mount Zion, and not the first one? Why? because there is a great delusion and the people will believe the lie that the ones who come with a dark mountain introduced by the Antichrist, the Pharaoh of New Egypt in the second half of seals will be their true creators, will be their true ancestors, will be the true aliens that come down in the image of the people. That is another point that will take us back to, to where? To Genesis chapter 1. And I, I, they are made in the image by the Elohims. They come with the same statement, but it's a fake one. Their images are fake. Their images are idols. Their images are bad. But the world will embrace them because they were given into a great delusion, not only by Satan, but by the Father himself, so that they believe a lie, as it is written in the scripture. So, these, these, this dark mountain, these dark people, Satan and his minions, will come to deceive the world. Satan will come to deceive the world. We know that. We know that death will come forth and then Hades will follow. So his, his empire will come forth in the second half of seals with the Antichrist as a new Pharaoh and with his minions that he will bring forth through Nibiru planet X that will come first. The world will embrace him because they say, oh, we come in peace, we come with flattery, we come with some miracles and wonders and they're all fake. And they will make sure that the Antichrist will become the ruler over all the nations. So now we have the first mountain standing over the earth and the earth has accepted this mountain. And they have embraced the people that came from this mountain. So the first people that do not belong to the earth also, they are demonic spirits, they are all this bad stuff that is there, fallen angels that, is, that are falling from the heavens with Satan at this time, not the fallen angels of old because they are bound and they will never come back, but the new fallen angels, they are all there on earth, mingling already together with the world population. Now. The Antichrist will lift them up and make sure that the world believes the delusion and the lie that these are the true creators. 
that the good aliens who are coming. Let me put that in brackets. We know, because you know what I'm talking about. So once they are accepted, then we know we are coming closer and closer to the sixth seal. And at the sixth seal now, the second mountain is coming, standing over the earth in opposition to Nibiru. The second mountain is standing over the earth. And then what will happen? Let's go to scripture. Then second Esther chapter 13 verse 27 to 36. In that you saw something like wind and fire and storm go out of his mouth of Jesus and that he didn't hold a spear or weapon of war yet destroyed the rush of that multitude that had come to fight him. Here is the interpretation. Look, the days are coming when the Most High will begin to rescue those who are on the earth. Those who live on earth will go out of their minds. That's all connected with Nibiru, it's all connected with the delusion, with the deception. They will plan to wage war against each other, city against city, place against place, nation against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, World War III. We know that. It's part of the seals. When these things happen, and the signs that I have showed you before take place, then my son will be revealed, whom you saw as a man rising up. When all the nations hear his voice, then each one will leave its, its own region, and will leave off the wars that were waging against each other. An innumerable mob will be gathered together, as you saw, wanting to come and fight against him, Jesus. But he will take his stand on the summit of Mount Zion, the second mountain that has appeared in the heavens. Zion will come out and will appear to all, build and ready paradise, as you saw a mountain carved without hands. And that is a reference to Daniel. When the stone that was cast has gone, grown into the mountain. Brothers and sisters, why? Why will the people go and start to fight? Antichrist, his warriors, his worldly armies want to fight with Jesus on Mount Zion because they are pushed by the fake aliens, by the Minibiru inhabitants, they are pushed by Satan, by his minions to do so. The Antichrist will accept this and will start to fight them. And we have talked about it before, the weapons are being prepared right now for that. Nuclear rockets that will be sent against asteroids can also be sent against Mount Zion. But the Lord Without weapon, he will turn them around and they will burn the attackers to ashes. Now, what is going to happen next? We are talking about a timeline, about a great understanding. What happened next? Yes, we have the ceiling of 144,000 even before and we have the, the rapture of the church in paradise. You can read it. In, in 2nd Esther chapter 13, if you read the whole chapter. And then, we are in the seventh seal, half an hour of silence in heaven, the preparation of the two sides now, the world has lost the battle against Mount Zion, now Mount Zion will, will come and start and fight Nibiru. The war in heaven will commence after the half hour in silence. Jesus will be for three and a half years on earth in Jerusalem, rebuilding the temple, the city, the walls. Michael the Archangel will be over the earth in the heavens with the army on Mount Zion, ready to fight Satan and his minion on Nibiru. 
The war in heaven will commence. It will commence. Brothers and sisters, the war in heaven will commence. As it is written in Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they, he lost their place in heaven, and he was thrown down onto the earth. That is a similar pattern to what happened in the old time recorded in the book of Mahabharata in India. Now it will come again. There is a war in heaven and Satan will be thrown down onto the earth. So we have a clear picture of what is going to happen during that time and why, for example, the Archangel Michael is leading the war, not Jesus. Jesus led the war against the world, the armies and Antichrist because Jesus has to oppose Antichrist. Then, he is in Jerusalem. Now, on Mount Zion is the, is the general, Michael, the archangel Michael, who, will grant with his, who, will con, uh, who is the commander of the heavenly armies and who will make the war against Satan, as it is written in scripture. All is being fulfilled according to the scripture. <clears throat> and we have a perfect timeline. <clears throat> Antichrist will come to power, second half of seals. Then he will, Nibiru will come. Then he will introduce the fake aliens as the true creators. The world will embrace his people. The world will then be in under great delusion and a lie. These fake aliens will make sure when Mount Zion will come that the world will stand against him for their own doom. So, to, to protect them, they, they want that, that, that the mountain will be destroyed, but they don't want to be involved because they know that Jesus, as long as he is there on the mountain, he is too strong for them. He cannot make it. So, they use the world and the Antichrist, put them into a delusion. They come together and try to fight Jesus on Mount Zion. They will be destroyed and burned. That's the reason why I believe it's a nuclear attack, because it's written in the scripture that after the war, the weapon will be burned or discarded for seven years. Why so long? Because they are nuclear contaminated. They cannot just be collected and removed. There is a time period that has to be used to clean the area. Now, once the Antichrist world has, has lost the war, Jesus will go to Jerusalem. Now, on the mountain, Jesus is not there. It is only the armies of heaven. So, Nibiru thinks there is a chance. Let us make a war against the mountain to overcome. So, they will attack Mount Zion and, and Michael will fight back and Satan will not be strong enough. Nibiru will be either destroyed or whatever it will happen with it and Satan will fall down onto the earth. All as it is written. We have a perfect timeline here, all fitting together. So brothers and sisters, get the understanding that most likely what we will see here is that there will be two mountains, Nibiru planet X versus Mount Zion at the first half of trumpets. A war that will be longer than we might think. But at the end Satan will fall down on the earth. Because he lost his inhabitant, his place, his Nibiru place in the heavens. And the heavens is not the third heaven. The heavens is just above our heads, in our sky. As it was in old, so will be again. As it was in old times, so will it be repeated again. Same situation. Satan comes out, he has comes onto the earth, he has his time, and then 
Jesus comes at the end from the battle of Armageddon, the Millennium Kingdom will be set up. War in heaven, it's much closer to the earth than you might think. Think about it. How the timeline will unfold. And why Satan is not starting to fight was his Nibiru planet, Mount Zion, when Jesus is on top, when Jesus is on the mountain, because he knows he has no chance. He waits for the attack against Mount Zion when Jesus is on earth to rebuild the temple. When he thinks, oh, now I have only to fight Michael and the army, then I can make it. But they didn't, and he will be thrown down onto the earth. So let's repeat the timeline again and then I let you go. War in heaven will begin with the Antichrist taking full power on earth. Introduce Nibiru will come, the introduction of the fake aliens as a true creator under Antichrist. Because the world, the world is given in into a great delusion to believe the lie. Then Mount Zion is coming. <clears throat> the fake aliens um, uh, are ordering the Antichrist and the world to make a war against the mountain. The world, the armies of the world will lose. Jesus will go to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple, the walls and the city. At that time, Satan will attack Mount Zion because he thinks that Jesus is occupied and so he has only to fight Michael and the heavenly armies and he thinks he can overcome them. But that was not working out. Michael will win. Satan will be thrown onto the earth. A perfect timeline. Just remember that the war in heaven will not be far removed than many people in the church think, but that this war in heaven will be just done over your heads. And of course, there will be repercussion for this world. That's the reason why it's written in the book of Revelation, woe, woe to the earth, because Satan has come down. All is fitting perfectly, brothers and sisters. Now we have a new understanding of the timeline, what is going to happen. We have a new understanding about the war in heaven, and we have a new understanding about the Biro planet X and Mount Zion. All standing in opposition because of the time of duality. And everything is coming to pass, what was also done uh, in, the, in the past time, in former times, in old times, like I have told you about the book of Mahabharata, that's a thousand of thousand years ago. So it happened before and it will happen again. Ecclesiastes, you know that. You know the scriptures. Brothers and sisters, we are going from linear time into circular time to make all this possible so that it will be repeated again. But this time, it will be the final, not the final battle, because there's a Armageddon battle and then there's a battle after the 1000 years. But at least it will allow Jesus to take the throne and to bind Satan and to, to start the Millennium Kingdom, what would be such a blessing for this world that was shaken so much during seals and trumpets. Brothers and sisters, take this understanding, this new understanding about Nibiru, Planet X, Mount Zion, the war in heaven to the Lord so that he can reveal it to you in perfection. If you have a greater understanding of this from the Lord, share it with us in the comments or on our loop site, 555loop.com in the forum. I believe that this is how the events will play forward. That this is how all will come to pass. Exactly in the timeline, Nibiru first, acceptance, war against the mountain, and then the war in heaven. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.